Welcome, it's uh, match day 18 of the Barclays Premier League and yet I've now uh, started to do my videos on this phone that I recently purchased. I think you'll agree that the uh, picture quality is much better. However, there's a learning curve as usual and uh, I'm having problems with that. Um, this is one of the benefits of old age. Uh, anyway, we're going to, with the help of these notes, I'm going to run through the three matches that were completed uh, on Tuesday evening. Uh, well, I'm here in Thailand on Wednesday morning, and I've just watched the highlights. Uh, and so let's get to it. Uh, we opened up uh, by looking at the bottom club, Sheffield United, who were at home to Newcastle. Uh, McGoldrip and Burke were up front for the Blades. Uh, Darlow retains his position in goal, even though Dubrovka is now fit for the Magpies. Um, there was no Sam Maximani still injured. Uh, and uh, Almiron, uh, Linton uh, were all on the bench. And a rather uh, different sort of front three for the Magpies. Fraser and Hendrick alongside... Callum Wilson uh, and uh, um, I saw brief highlights uh, into the first half uh, 12 minutes McGoldrick was put through uh, but again uh, his shot tested Darlow but uh, Darlow managed to push it wide of the goal uh, Wilson up the other end uh, head just wide on 27 minutes and then uh, McGoldrick again headed over on 29 uh, and we got to the break, goalless, but Sheffield United had the better of it. Newcastle look, looking a little sort of uh, lacking in impetus. One significant moment that happened in the first half was that Frazier received two yellow cards, the second on 44, and so he was off. Uh, so the second half, Newcastle down to 10 men, uh, and uh, uh, Bogle had a shot on 49 from Gross Rage which was battled away by Gar Darlow. And then the significant event on 71 minutes. Uh, basically, Sharp had come on and he was chasing the ball with Fernandes. They sort of touched a, a little bit uh, in clashing for that ball. And the ball just happened to uh, uh, bounce up and hit Fernandes on the hand. It looked so innocuous, really. Uh, but as is the case, the referee saw nothing but VAR did and they instructed him to award a penalty, which was grace, gracefully expected, graciously, sorry, accepted by uh, the club captain, uh, Billy Sharp. And he was as cool as a cucumber as he stroked the ball uh, past Darlow and uh, Sheffield United had got that one nil advantage. Um, that was also his 100th for the club and they managed to hang on um, without too many uh, real sort of danger moments. So uh, amazingly, uh, and we're into January, uh, Sheffield United uh, getting their first win of the season. Absolutely fantastic. So final score then at Bramwell Lane, Sheffield United won. Newcastle nil. Match two then uh, was played at Molyneux. It was Wolves against uh, Everton. Uh, interesting selection by uh, Angelotti up front for uh, uh, Everton. Uh, there was no Calvert-Lewin. He had a hamstring problem. And Richardson was on the bench. And so he had a, 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 a Wobi and a Sigurdsson up front. Uh, and... Uh, uh, for Wolves, Dendoka, uh, Neves and Martinho are in midfield. Triari out with an injury. Uh, Gibbs White back after a long period of, on loan for, at Swansea. And he was in the starting line. E uh, Everton selected Pickford uh, ahead of Olsen. Olsen had done his cup uh, duties. and uh, So James... And, sorry, James was up front with Gil, uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson. Uh, Wobi was on the flanks uh, uh, with Dana on the other side. Um, so off we went. And Awodi 
uh, on five minutes after some really good work by Dana, uh, Dana's cross, and Awobi side-footed it with precision into the corner, and uh, Everton had gone one up. They didn't hold the lead for too long, though. On 13 minutes, an absolutely peach of a cross by Neves uh, after... Uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> I got that bit wrong. An absolute peach of a connection by Neves after a great run down the left, uh, and he, he connected on the ball, he in the box. It went in the net, and that was 1-1. And that was the half-time score. Um, pretty competitive. Uh, and both uh, teams certainly going for the win. And we also took, uh, got a look of, uh, at uh, uh, Raul Jimenez uh, watching the game. Not sure, quite, quite sure when he uh, is coming back. But you could literally see the scar on his, uh, on his uh, relatively trimmed uh, barnet. Uh, of where they operated on that fractured skull. So um, it, it, we may not ever see him again after seeing that. On 76 minutes anyway, uh, Everton uh, got the breakthrough and it was that peach of a cross that I described earlier. But this time Gomez with his left foot and Keane uh, jumped high above uh, the pack of defenders in the box and his header flew in the corner. And that was 2-1 uh, to Everton. Um, and that's how it finished. A good performance by Angelotti. Uh, Everton maintained their position in third place. Final score then at Molyneux. Uh, Wolves 1, Everton 2. So final match on Tuesday then was the clash at Turf Moor. Uh, Burnley at home to Manchester United. Uh, and tomb news, Wooden Barnes are up front for Burnley. Uh, for United, Matic and Pogba in midfield, Fred and McTominay on the bench, uh, and a very strong front line by Solskjaer, uh, with Cavani coming back in, but he retained uh, Marshall up front with Rashford uh, and uh, uh, the other guy, what's his name? <laughs> uh, Greenwood, that's it. Uh, and so they really look strong uh, uh, going forward. The hair back in goal, of course. Um, early action then. Uh, well, uh, I didn't see a lot of this match, but it was a, a shot by Fernandes on 16 uh, minutes, which was comfortable for Pope. Uh, 21 minutes up the other end. Wood had an effort, uh, uh, but the shot was deflected over. But it could have been a dangerous for the Reds. Uh, and then on 30 minutes, we had two very contentious challenges uh, at either end of the field. The first one involved uh, Shaw and his heavy cha challenge uh, on... Uh, he got the ball, but he went right through the, uh, the, the Burnley player. Uh, and up the other end, Cavani was brought down uh, just at, at the edge of the box. And uh, both, the, certainly the Cavani uh, one looked uh, a potential red card because he was closing in on goal. But anyway, uh, as a result, the referee uh, had to look at both and decided that the first offence stopped the game. So the Cavani incident was irrelevant. And he gave a yellow card to Shaw and a free kick uh, to Burnley. Uh, Maguire headed in on 35 uh, at the far post after a great shot by great cross by Shaw. But again, the goal was disallowed uh, for a foul by Maguire. And 44 minutes, Martial, uh, a, a drive from dis distance, but Pope uh, managed to deal with it. So it was goalless at the break with United having the better of things. I didn't see a lot of the second half, uh, uh, but what actually happened was, uh, I think about minute 70, uh, uh, there was a, a, a great cross from the right by R Rashford, set up Popper on the edge of the box and he hit a, it on the volley uh, it did get a deflection and then went through Pope's legs. Uh, but it was a great effort by the Frenchman. And in fact, he was the standout player uh, for United on the night. Uh, and he got the winning goal because that was uh, about it. 
Uh, Manchester United have gone to Turf Moor. They usually do very well there. And they've won the goal by a goal to one goal to nil. It put United top of the Premier League. And that's the first time they've been top in seven seasons. And in charge uh, all that time back was one uh, Sir Alex Ferguson. So this is definitely a, a, a point that we can all say with regard to Solskjaer that he's uh, perhaps finally getting things right. Final score then at Turpmore, Burnley nil, Manchester United 1.